So here's a key to Chinese lovage root, otherwise known in Chinese as gao ben, legusticum sinense, right? So I got to just quickly hear some names because that's part of the key here. It's not lovage root, different plant. This is Chinese lovage root. And these names get moshed around in the literature and in the internet. And it's not legusticum porteri, that's OSHA, native to North America, different plant. Go check it out on our website, whiterabbitinstituteofhealing.com. It's not legusticum chuan jiang, otherwise known as legusticum walichi, different plant. We just kind of call that one legusticum, right? Great blooder. This is legusticum sinense, Chinese lovered root. And the key to it is early stage colds and flus that it can be used for other stages, but really kicks in in its niche at the early stages. And top of the head headaches. How's that for a particular? It'll show up in all kinds of formulas for headaches in general. Other herbs do treat headaches, but let's just clarify what's key. This is top of the head. And it's associated in traditional Chinese medicine with the bladder meridian. And that bladder meridian goes right through the top of the head and all the way down the body. So it's a top of the head and it's even some low back pain because it runs right through that area. Legusticum chuanjiang, right, or walichi, that's your headaches that are going to be associated with blood stagnation. See, it's different. This is wind and cold. This is what this herb does. Wind cold and wind damp. External, top of the head, bladder. Legusticum chuanjiang is associated with the liver meridian. Whole different route in the body, whole different kind of thing, very blood oriented. So you can see some nuances here where if you're suffering from headaches or know somebody who is, you got some different things going on here. And angelica, another key herb, right, for uh, treating herbs. Again, you're dealing with more of that blood stagnation for that, better, you know, for that kind of um, uh, condition. So there you have some keys to this herb, right? Early stage colds and flus, it'll be good for other stages as well, but really kicks in if you don't want to be getting sick and diving in deeper, especially if you've got colds and flu with top of the head headache, or if you just suffer from top of the head headaches. This is a great herb for you. It has other applications. Do visit our website at White Rabbit Institute of Healing to find out more about it. Check out our healing herb health session on this particular herb. Find out some recipes, the benefits, dosing, and how to really use this um, and take best advantage of it. Sometimes these nuances make all the difference. It would be great if one herb or one medicine or one protocol worked for every single person every time. We wouldn't need to do that much, but it's not true. Sometimes we need something refined in particular. Check out our healing herb health session on Chinese lovage root so you're not confusing it with all the other plants that share common names and botanical names, right? So you know which is which. Great herb. Go check it out. Arthritis, gout kinds of fun things. And if you've got a question, please leave a comment below or join our conversation at info at whiterabbitinstituteofhealing.com. You can send me an email. I'm happy to do whatever I can to answer your questions.